wasn't even on no little girl shit. I was grown. But why you want to sit here and talk about I was mad? Bitch, you're mad because I booked Melody on a show and I'm producing a show and this is my job to create good content. I've only literally been producing at that time. I was only producing a girl for a month, y'all. And she was mad. I'm talking about heated. Didn't answer her phone for days. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? This is weird. This is weird. I had called my, my boss like, yo, this girl ain't answered my phone because she literally is mad because she found out I told her like, yo, I'm booking bail too. And I was hella thought off because I'm like, how am I supposed to do my job? Weird. Bitch, I thought you was weird, not hurt. You don't even know me. You know nothing. And I'm so glad I never told this crazy bitch nothing because if I had, the whole world would know it. <laughs> the whole world. Like, stop playing with yourself. It's weird, y'all. Literally, I had just got, I had just became her producer for the second half of the show. And she was mad. I'm talking about she was mad. You a fake? You fake? I said, fake, bitch. I, I was like, what? Fake? You don't know? Okay. She went off. She went off, y'all. She went off. She was mad. How you gonna do? How you gonna book her too? I said because I like Mill, and I figured y'all both could do it. I mean, my answers were very simple. And uh, uh, she was like, "That's fake. You supposed to be my producer." I was like, "Well, you know, I do work with everybody." I was like. I don't know. It's weird. It was giving weird energy that she said that like she was mad because I I booked mail too. I was like, that is a good opportunity for both of y'all. And let's not forget, I'm also trying to bring the show to St. Louis. And and I know I like. Here in St. Louis, I can get people to open up for anybody. So I'm like, yeah, I can get them a book for Monica. You know, that'd be good to show them in their career. If they want to do music, they're artists. Why not let, let them open up for one of the legendary R&B artists? And it's, what I knew was a sold out show for St. Louis. So I'm like, they're going to be able to get to perform in front of the whole city. So I'm like, okay, that's a good look. She was literally mad because I shared that opportunity with Mel. And I was like, I like Mel. Like, and I told her that. And she was like, well, that's fake. And I was like, girl, do you know? I said, and this is no bullshit. I'm not lying, y'all. We literally had a conversation. And I was like, you do know I'm your producer, right? Like, and I produce mail too sometimes. Like, we work, sometimes I direct the whole scene. I work with everybody on the scene, all the cast members, not just, I have, I'm assigned to you, meaning I have to get certain information from you. I have to do certain communication with you, let you know what time you got to be on set, what you got to wear, shit like that. But you do know, like, this is my job. I had to tell this girl, like, you know, like, I'm like, come on, like, you said I'm fake. Like, you know, this is my job. Like, we know each other because I was hired to do a job. You do know, like, I mean, I wasn't your homegirl that got hired. And then it was like, I owe you this loyalty because I was your homegirl that got hired to do a job. No, I'm a girl you met on the job. So I have no loyalty to you. I'm not going, she literally did not want me to associate with Mel. And I thought that shit was weird. I'm like, girl, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I told her. And she was like, ah. I mean, she was like in her body, y'all. And I was like, yo, this is giving some weird vibes. Like, I told my, I, I told the person that was her producer before, I'm like, yo, man, this what you was dealing with? A motherfucker get getting mad because you had to do your job? And then she just went on her podcast and said, I was hurt. <laughs> Please just stop. Make this shit go away. It's weird. It's just it's just weird. Like I I never was hurt. I literally was just like, look, I'm just trying to be peaceful. I was like, hey, I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm just trying to do my job. And you're so right. People, people, this is so much going on in life to be more concerned with. Like I said, 
I'm out here trying to build generational wealth, help my community, build the people up around me, build the people I don't even know, just trying to grow spiritually, mentally. I ask for the Lord to expand my territory so that I can be a beacon of light for hundreds of thousands, millions of people. That's what I'm on. I'm not on sitting up arguing with no female. I, I, I don't even, I'm not even good at it. Like y'all, I'm not even good at it. I, it's really truly something I'm not used to y'all. I'm not used to this. I avoid foolishness at all costs. I really do. I am so not used to like sitting up. Yeah, you are. I, I just why I be sitting there half the time like worded out. I'm not you. I don't do this. I don't argue. And again, again where I'm from, if you sitting up cackling, cackling, and screaming, and screaming in your mouth, somebody been popped you in it. So I'm not even used to sitting up there like it's it's just giving mean girl vibes. It's giving it's giving very much elementary school is given very much I don't even do this shit like I don't and I really be flabbergasted half the time like oh my god when I be watching I be like look at what is y'all it's so weird it, it's it's so odd for me to sit up and argue with grown women and, and have to go back and forth with grown women about stuff that I'm just like, what? I thought there was some logical stuff here. Like, I thought people would be able to be rational adults. And, and, but but I'm like, I feel like I'm just sitting up. I'm so beyond that. Like, I'm so beyond that point in my life to just be sitting up cackling and, and hackling. And, and you, you did this. And I'm looking like, girl, I don't even know. Y'all, you know what, what? I am like, like, God, keep protecting my energy, my peace. Because this shit is getting to another level. You know, I don't know. I, I it's, it's just to another level. Um, But I'm finna get off of here because I'm literally, I got my workers in here cleaning up my property. I'm finna put this one on Section 8. Um... It's going to be rented to a lady and her daughter that's got a disability. I'm trying to get this house ready for these people to move into this house so they don't be homeless. <laughs> like, that's what I'm on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dressed bummed up. I'm picking up materials, picking up AC units, condensers, dropping them off for the guys to hook them up. Like, that, that, that's what I'm on right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to keep up no drama, but my initial point was to just get on here and get that warning that, look, stop trying to play with me like that. Don't don't come for us on a real lifetime type shit. Keep it on the TV. Keep it on the YouTube. Keep it on this here IG app. Whatever comments, I can take all that. I ain't worried about what nobody talking about. But since she want to have somebody come and leak his personal information, that's attached to certain addresses and things like that. Don't pull up at nobody's crib. Don't do that. Because this ain't that. Alright? <laughs> Real talk. I just want to keep being my happy girl, lucky self. I done calmed myself down. And I just don't want no drama. I really don't. We don't want no problem. We don't start no problems. We don't want none. Um, we're just trying to live, live life, help others, and just be prosperous. Like, that's literally the only thing we want. We're not nasty people. We don't start shit. We don't want drama. And, you know, you know we're trying to start a family. Because it's calling me right now. I, so I got to get off this phone. They shift is ending. So, yeah. Um, Y'all be safe. Y'all be good out here. Y'all be safe. And, and no, don't let the bed, bed bugs bite. Okay? Don't let them bite. You all? 
Yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull up at the base. How long it take you here? Um. Since you got you want to come in the morning? Yeah, I got to come in the morning anyway because I got to bring y'all check. So I just get it from you then. All right. Have it for you in the morning, sir. All right, man. Y'all, look, y'all be good. And I love, love y'all. I love y'all. And tell them people stop playing. When they, when, they, when they inbox you and say, here go Moses' personal information, y'all already know my nigga was locked up. Like, come on. Like, we not. We're, we're past that, right? Um, just, just, just tell them, like, stay away from that, y'all. You might not want to touch that. And, uh, I wish everybody on here love, light, peace, blessings, good health, good state of mind, whatever, whatever dream that you got, follow it, whatever is your heart desire, go after that, live your life, it's not long. Spread love, love, peace, and stay out of mess. Stay out of mess, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of mess. Protect your health. Protect your energy. Y'all pray for me. I pray for y'all. And, um, yeah, I'm out, man. Have a good day. You, you can get the T-shirts. Yes. Look at me. T-shirts on the, um, they are on Spotify. I actually have them on two different websites. But you can go on my link on Sunny Ming's page. Click the link in there. We've already been receiving orders. Thank you so much for the support. Our product is still coming out, but I'm actually going through a chemist. I'm not just white labeling shit. So I'm going through a chemist. So that takes time when you're really creating a, pro a product that you want to be a good product. Um, so it is still coming out. It's still in the mix. Uh, our label should be back in like a week and a half. Um, so actually, our actual print label should be ready, but the product is still being formulated. Um, so yes, most sun is still coming out. I'm, I'm standing on it. And uh, our shirts are available. Remember, you can um, you can get the shirt in any color. You can get the logo in any color. So if you wanted a pink shirt with black logo, you could do that. You can customize. I want to give you all the opportunity to kind of customize stuff and not just get like a black and white t-shirt. So yeah, support us. Um, I'm working on some other stuff, you know, and when it's due time, I'm going to speak on it. But yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just so... Um, that's it, y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of y'all internet folks are good people. Y'all hit me up daily, sending me inspirational quotes, sending me prayer videos, telling me you love me. Like, that. I don't take that lightly. I take that like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? So I give it back. And I love y'all, too. And thank you for praying for me. Thank you for wishing me and my husband well. Thank you for your blessings. Please watch something shine the series on Tubi if you haven't we are working on season two and i cannot wait to show y'all season two we got some b-list celebrities in that joint we got some people you may recognize from legendary films coming to fuck with us so listen i'm really excited about that got so much in store god is good god is so good and right when you're getting tested the most that's when you be getting blessed right behind that test so destiny was never really a true friend to melody and the jealousy just runs so deep uh but let me know what you think about what sunny had to say and this just does prove that the video i posted yesterday i think it was destiny payton is big 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 mad it just shows that destiny is mad she always seems to be mad uh but drop down in the comments uh give us your thoughts and comments about this if you didn't see the other part there is a part one to this video uh and i'll link it here but let me know your thoughts you guys and as always i'll talk to you in the next video